Hey, just heading to Nelson. Got to drop early tomorrow morning. So I'm going to go there today, get set up at a campsite, and uh, just stay in the truck. Brought a bunch of equipment, bed set up and whatnot. And uh, I'll check out a few things, set up a few pieces of equipment I have. Hopefully it'll make a good video. And once we get all set up at the site there, or get pulled in, we'll carry on with the video. Well, just coming into the Kokanee Creek Provincial Park. Bit of a lineup. But uh, we'll get in. Hopefully get a camp spot. When I called, they said first come, first serve. So we'll see how it works out. Made it to the gatehouse. I'm next in line. Shouldn't be long to get to the campsite. Looks like about 30, 30, nine dollars a night for powered site see if I can get one well made it to the campsite they had no power sites left things are already not going as planned but hey that's life right just gotta rough it a little more get things set up so there's lots of bears in the area so Cautious. Check things out. Let's take it from there. See how it goes. Well, I'm going to be camping in the back of my pickup truck just for the night. Got a few things to set up. And a few uh, reviews to do. So we'll set the camera over yonder. Yeah, at the um, Kootenai Lake, Kootenai Creek Provincial Park. It's about 19, 20 kilometers from Nelson. It's the only thing I can find available. Like I said, no power, so I'll just rough it tonight. No problem. Got a job to do in the morning. Look at all the pamphlet. Kootenai Creek Provincial Park map. Things to do. Bear aware, they uh, went out of their way to explain that there's bears in the area. So I'll make sure uh, keep everything locked up. Any food products, anything that might attract a bear. First thing I'm going to set up is a little pop-up shelter used for a shower or toilet facilities. Comes in a nice pouch. Pop-up privacy tent. Let's see how easy it is. Looks pretty easy with the instructions here. We'll check it out. Forward. 
there's washroom facilities about 500 feet down but in case I don't want to run down there we've got the old bucket we got the old uh, lid toilet seat and away we go Ta -da! pegs to hold her down put them on later Out here now. Oh yes, these are vehicle uh, window blackouts. Supposed to fit into your windows in the pickup truck or whichever vehicle you have. Plastic on the one side, screen. Plastic will just stick right onto the window. There you go, blackout. I'll just move this out of the way for now. I got another uh, shelter to put up. It's supposed to fit on the back of the pickup truck. We'll try it, see how it works. up real well. I haven't opened it up yet. Well, not sure what I got exactly. Sure wrapped up good anyway. Like skinning a beaver. So be careful I don't cut it, right? Very nice handy pouch. Carrying case. La Duta. La Duta. Let's turn the camera a bit. Carry on the shelter setup. Spread out, Tanch. Put the wolves in the four corners. That's pretty big.
Oh, looks like I have it upside down. Flip it around. One. Whoa. Got these little boots to fit into. I'm gonna hook this on. Kind of winging it, never done it before. Not this type. This ties up here. Better put a bow where I won't get it untied again, right? Okay. So far, so good. Already did it, oops. Should have slid the poles in between through here, right? Then she'll hold it up nice, proper. Now switch that around and then uh, we'll carry on. Okay, we got it back where we want it to be. Go to the car, put it inside, and tie it in place. Got the little boots to go into on each end. Change the angle. More pools. Broken up a sweat. Good. 
the inside they have nice instructions so that's all handy now we're down to the point where we're going to put these poles up and then run some strings down to secure it but i think i'll set it so with the uh I'll set it with the door of the truck of the canopy down so i can go in and out freely because i'm gonna have to close it at night time And actually, it's maybe not. I think it's right. So far, so good. Got these uh, pegs on the end here, which are going to go inside the tent. I'll do a little walk around once I get her set up good, too. I think we're going to need three of these for the proper height. With the handy daddy clip there, they just slide in. I think there might be four, four sections per four. Probably hear the traffic and dogs barking. There's going to be people in the campsite right now. Okay, let's go here. Put together the other one on the other side. It's just a matter of running the strings down and connecting it. So I'll get that all set up and then we'll uh, carry on with the video. Okay, we got her hooked on nicely. Depending on the vehicle, you just run her down, slide it on, hook it on wherever is appropriate for your vehicle. Nice shelter. I did take one extension out of the pole just to bring it down a little more. I didn't like it up so high. We got her spiked down to the ground. Lots of room up inside here. It's got a window or a vent if you want to use it. Spike down over yonder here. And covers the truck nicely on the back side. So you can open up the canopy. And you can go on inside. I'm going to set up the bed area. That table. It's been a long day, but uh, get some more set up here. Relax. And without power, I can't do a heck of a lot, but I might have enough on my laptop to watch a movie or something before I crash for the night. So I'll finish setting this up. We'll take another look around. Maybe go for a walk down by the lake. I think there's a lake here, or a river. Okay, what I'm using for my bed is a cot. Woods cot. This folds out nice, nice height, good support. And then I got a Woods self-inflating mattress, just to give you, give me a little more comfort off in place then you just close the valve you can blow a little more in if you want close the valve slide it on Ooh, that's gonna be nice blanket just an underlay blanket. And then, creme de la creme, Terra gear, sleeping bag, good for like 30 below. And better not get that cold tonight, I tell you. Why rough it too much? Brought me a pillow. 
There we go. Now you might be wondering, will I fit? I think I will fit quite nicely. Gonna be awesome. Should get a great sleep. Let's see if I can rustle something up to eat. I was planning on having a power sight, so I didn't bring uh, any propane thing to cook with. Actually, I don't think you're allowed to use one anyway. It rained pretty much all day, but they still have fire bands on all over the place. So, might have to rough it a bit for the night, but that's fine. Well, I did bring a cooler. Was planning ahead somewhat. 12 volt. We got some uh, meat in there, patties, which uh, aren't going to do too well since I can't run this all night. And uh, and some eggs, and some beer, and some spreads. So that's that. But we'll have a beer, take her easy, go for a walk. Blue sky now. And then uh, come back, hunker down for the night, and that's about it. Head to my job in the morning. Ah, good stuff. Okay, I have a brain wave. I'm not saying I always have good brain waves, but I'm trying to, I just read the uh, hamburger pack here, and it says, fully cooked Angus burger beef. So if it's fully cooked, that means really I just need to heat it up. So what if, yeah, uh, use the old coffee pot, Put the candle in here. Get the candle going. Do, 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 do. If I can get it going. These matches are probably 10 years old or something. Okay, we got the candle going, right? Now, we get a burger. Andy dandy hunting knife. in the pan like so lid on and there's a vent here right where coffee would pour out but maybe that'll be enough air so the candle will keep going and heat up the pan so far it's still going I don't know if it'll get it hot enough, but it's worth a try. I 
I'll be optimistic and I'll prepare my bun. Oops, excuse me. Is it still going? Ah, shit, candle went out. Huh. Let's try again. This time, I'll have to hold this pot up a bit. Candles going. Mm -hmm. Desperate times call for desperate measures. might take a while. Hmm. Well, the candle idea kind of worked. Thought it out enough that it's not frozen, so uh, hopefully uh, fully cooked means fully cooked. Guess we'll soon find out. It's all right. Should be good. I'll let you know in the morning how I feel. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Finish up my burger, then go for a quick walk, maybe see a sunset or something, uh, something outstanding. Mm -hmm. Just heading down to the uh, beach or uh, river area. I haven't been here before, but I think there's a lake or a river around here. Trail closed, barren area, no public access. I guess I better not go that way. Back on to the main trail. I don't think it's too far coming to the map. Okay, so the one thing I can say about this trip so far is I should plan a little better and uh, yeah, and think about things that could happen, like no power site. But I guess I could always stay in a hotel, but you know, I like to rough it a little bit. That's a nice tree. I kind of got ADD, right? See a shiny object and uh, I'm all over it. But anyway, yeah, so far so good. Kind of close to the highway, but I should be able to sleep. I've been kind of tired today, so I think once I snuggle down into the sleeping bag, I'll have a good sleep. I hear something up ahead. Might be the river. Bunch of vehicles here. 
okay this is supposed to be like interpretive center or something they say it opens at eight o'clock but uh, I gotta be at the, my job at 8 30 so I'm not gonna be able to check it out this time Coconut Creek Nature Center looks nice nice on the outside no entry after 7.05 p.m. Yeah, okay, we'll get rid on that. Holy shit, they got these bear signs all over the place. That's kind of a cool mural. Welcome. Welcome. Kootenai Creek Park is a special meeting place. Its trails, beaches, and waterways will guide you to the inhabitants of the wild and magical landscape. Take time to discover the stories of the Kootenai Salmon, Huron, Douglas Fir, Red Squirrel, and the animals and planets hidden from common view. Watch and listen closely, and you will find that each plant animal has its own story to tell. Join us at the Visitor Center, share in, in the discovery, blah, 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 blah. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, let's carry on over here. I hear water. I would like to get to the water. There's a map of the area. Kootenai Creek Provincial Park. I'm in number seven, if anyone really cares. Where the hell is seven? Oh, 70, sorry. Right here. Gatehouse is here where I drove in there. Back out to the highway, and then I'm gonna go with 3A all the way back to Nelson, 19 kilometers. Kootenai Creek Park spawning channel trails. Let's check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oh, any chaga over here? So I'm gonna find chaga on the birch, old birch trees. Uh, no, that's some other fungus. Kind of funny, eh? They got the area close to bears, no public access, and this fence here. And you think that's gonna stop bears? I don't think so. Sleeping bear, bear footage. Oh, bears forage for food from springs, spring to fall. But where do they go from November to April? They hibernate in their dens. Who knew? Bears as gardeners. Bears like people are omnivorous. They eat fish, live or dead. Over 250 plants, many mammals, insects, carns, and much more. There's few people here. And I think I can outrun them, so bears come along. I should be fine. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a nice creek. Look at how it steps down like that. I wonder if they made it that way or that's natural. I think they made it that way. Oh shit, you can see the salmon. Oh, I see. It steps like that so the salmon can climb up it. Looks like they're giving a tour, guided tour. I'd like to guide my own tour. A good place to spawn. 
I'll keep that in mind. See what's up here. Is this where I came in first off? Then I got lost. Didn't take the right turn off. I don't need to go over there. Get the trailheads. Right, let's go back and see if we can find the other way. No dogs. No dogs. I think the ravens are pretty big. Down this way. Fish all over here, Sam. Then the GoPro handle and see if we can get closer. Whoa, even the toilets are special. Okay, I better shut off the camera and do my business. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, yes, because that says it's 113 to 89, and I'm 70. So I must be further up here yet. Oh, yeah. See my green tent covering? I'm going to through the bush. Better make it out. Oh, 
Porcupine Lane. That's where I am. I'm on Porcupine Lane. First one on the right. There we go. Back to camp. I think I'll set up the laptop. See if I can watch a movie. And I noticed that folks across the way they got a little fire going. It's supposed to be a fire ban. Guess they don't, don't give a shit. I should do the same thing. Cook my burger. Not too late now. Okay, set up in the back. Just gonna watch a movie. I'm gonna have um, I See You and Reach Me. It's kind of a, well, two movies in one, I guess. Got it for five bucks at the uh, store in Nelson there. Got the old um, computer hooked into my inverter, which hooked into my battery bank here. Insta power. I'm not sure how long this is going to last. Hopefully it's going to be long enough to watch a movie. And then we got some beer, chips, music. I want to dance later. But we'll give her a go and see how it how it handles. And how am I going with the light here? Well, I got this handy dandy headlight. Comes in pretty handy. It's got uh, three three settings. Right, flashing for the disco. Whoa! And then uh, off. So we'll get this set up and uh, enjoy the movie here. And away we go. Yeah, good movie. Well, time to relax. Seven o'clock, finish the movie and then hit the sack. Gotta be at Nelson for 8 a.m. Ready to go. So I'll talk to you guys in the morning. That was a pretty good sleep, refreshing. A little chilly in the middle of the night, but uh, I was actually sweating in the sleeping bag because I had my shirt on. I took the shirt off and didn't sweat, and it's still nice and warm. So I pack up, change, clean up, got to head to a job in Nelson. But uh, for the first time camping in the back of the truck here, canopy it turned out pretty well though next time I think I'll have a little generator or something or at least have a power site would be nice or a propane stove there's a few things to improve on for sure but uh, I just kind of threw this together and uh, thought I'd give it a go and it's always good to get out camping but uh, I better get at her Take care. See you next time.